Have a scroll through the list of upcoming 2016 releases and I bet you'll see what I saw. That is, a lot of twos, threes, fours and familiar franchises. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're anything like me then you appreciate a new original game. Here's five of those. Recall may be coming later in the year than we had hoped, but if we're judging from the trailer and the team that's developing it, it should be worth the wait. Recall was one of my favourite reveals at E3 last year. It looks delightfully sci-fi, you get a robotic dog friend, and there's a female protagonist, which are big pluses for me. On top of that, the concept of rehoming cores, which function like souls into different forms, could be an intriguing gameplay mechanic. Trailer impressions aside, the game is in development at Concept, which is headed up by Keiji Inafune, the veteran designer of Mega Man. For those worried they wouldn't be able to play this one due to Xbox One X exclusivity, Microsoft have announced it will arrive on PC too. Now as cool as Recall looks, it doesn't have a release date. What does have a release date is Firewatch, and that release date is tomorrow. Perfect for those of you with little patience. Due out for PS4 and PC, Firewatch is a first-person adventure game. It's from developer Campo Santo, which is headed up by Jake Rodkin and Sean Bannerman, the creative leads of Telltale's Walking Dead Season 1. And also staffed by Nils Anderson, the creative lead of Clay's Mark of the Ninja, renowned graphic artist Ollie Moss, who's responsible for shaping the game's art and visual style, and a bunch of ex-Double Fine developers. Firewatch is the debut title for its developer and publisher. It tells the story of Henry, a fire lookout assigned to a tower in Shoshone National Forest, deep within the Wyoming wilderness. You'll be dealing with choices and consequences, uncovering a mystery, and trying to keep your cool as a shadowy figure watches your every move. Yeah, this one might get creepy. Your only form of communication is a walkie-talkie that connects you to your supervisor Delilah, and how you speak to her will affect your relationship. I'm guessing you'll probably want to maintain that one. Since we're talking about games that come out tomorrow, we'd better not skip over Unravel, or as I like to call it, the game that stormed its way into the hearts of a hundred jaded games journalists. Unravel might seem all adorable with its yarny protagonist and beautiful world, but it's a story steeped with sadness. It begins with an old woman in her home and, of course, a ball of yarn, which morphs into Yarny. The game will involve traversing a harsh real-world landscape as a tiny yarn person, and you'll have to solve environmental platforming puzzles in a limbo-esque fashion. According to creative director Martin Salin, Yarny represents love, and the character unravels as they travel away from what they love. Yeah, you'll want a box of tissues handy for this one. Guerrilla Games has spent all their time since 2004 creating games that start with Killzone. Now here they are in 2016, ready to release Horizon Zero Dawn. And it looks pretty awesome. The action role-playing game will have you embody Aloy, a hunter and archer who lives 1,000 years in the future after the apocalypse. Robotic creatures roam the desolate Earth, and Guerrilla Games has said the style of gameplay is going to be somewhere in between Assassin's Creed and Skyrim. You'll be getting creative with traps, arrows, and explosives to take out your enemies while dabbling in crafting and exploring the open world. Horizon Zero Dawn has been in development at Guerrilla since 2011, so hopes are pretty high for this one. Finally, the beginning of April is all set to deliver Quantum Break for Xbox One. Remedy Entertainment have a pretty great name, having worked on Max Payne and Alan Wake. And this is set to be the next big thing. Quantum Break will give you time manipulation powers and a variety of guns to try and combat a corporation that would prefer you to be a whole lot less alive. The gameplay will consist of action sequences and environmental puzzles, but Quantum Break gets a little more complicated than that. The gameplay is split in segments, between which an episode of the digital series will play. Oh yeah, there's a separate integrated live-action TV series. While the game explores the story of the two protagonists, Jack Joyce and Beth Wilder, players will be able to make choices as the antagonist in the beginning of each episode of the show. If that sounds confusing to you, you're not alone, but it sure will be intriguing to see how it works. Let me know which of these stack of games you're most excited to play or if there's a favourite of yours that I neglected to mention. And I will see you again next week.